All right, buenos dias. So we'll share another idea from Rabbi Sachs on the uh, questions that we have in the Passover uh, Seder, in the eve of Passover, the Manishtanam. We have the children asking the questions of what uh, different is the night of Passover from all other nights. It's a long-standing uh, custom, and really through the question and the dialogue, we come to learn a lot. Says Rabbi Sachs, um, in, in terms of an inheritance, there's two types of expressions that uh, he actually brings from Rabbi Samson Raphael Hirsch, two types of, of expressions as to an inheritance. One is called a nachala in Hebrew, and one is called a Yerusha. Both of them are found in the Torah. Nachala uh, is maybe stemming from the word nachal. Nachal is a stream, a river flowing, something that uh, you will receive just on your own. It's just going to come your way. Just like river brings water your way, you'll receive an inheritance, and that also happens. But there's also a Yerusha, that has more of an active participation on your behalf because it comes from also the word uh, uh and it, it, it's almost like you have to take it, you have to uh, acquire it. Even though it belongs to you, but you have to take some sort of step in order to acquire it. And that, in terms of an educational component, uh, is what happens on the night of Pesach and what happens in the dialogue in Judaism where we acquire the uh, the Torah, the wisdom, the knowledge, the tradition uh, by active participation. So we don't idly sit by and just download the information. We have to be involved in, in some sort of dialectic movement in order to gain more knowledge. And that's what happens on the night of Pesach. Through the question, uh, we, are, we are open to uh, becoming more, uh, I guess, uh, aware, knowledgeable uh, of the things that we have in Judaism. And that is uh, very unique in uh, the uh, in religious to the Jewish tradition in that which it's not uh, the Torah, the Bible, the faith is not just given to us or not just left blank with a, some sort of gap. Rather, we are here to ask questions, Manishtana, what is the difference? And the Manishtana, what is the difference? The question is what makes uh, Judaism uh, distinguished from other maybe religions that we uh, don't leave it as a dogmatic kind of space. Rather, there's a lot of uh, involvement and understanding and that is uh, something that we practice on Pesach. A quick question about animal food on Pesach. So there is a law that uh, anything that is a ta'arovet chametz, a mixture of chametz, and it's not ra'uy la'achilat adam, and it's not uh, uh, consumable for human beings, uh, is less of an issue. And therefore, uh, if you have uh, pet food that is not edible for you, let's just give a classic example, like uh, like fish food, right? It's just nobody can eat that. Animals can eat it. Your fish can consume it. Even if it may have some sort of chametz uh, mixture within it, you are allowed to have it in your home for Passover and feed it to your animals. However, if there is uh, animal food that is pure chametz, maybe some people give uh, some old slices of bread to their ducks or something like that, that is an issue just to have it in your home uh, on, on the days of Pesach. And over there, uh, according to some authorities, you can sell your animals with their chametz to a non-Jew while you keep them in your home. I don't like that so much because it's just walk around your house with it. But uh, if you have to, uh, some Allahic authorities do uh, allow to do that. But there are, of course, other alternatives. Uh, and uh, you should ask your local rabbi.com and we can talk more about that. <laughs>